Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor of Simply Vegas. Today we'll be checking out Estrella by Woodside Homes in the master plan community of Sunstone in Las Vegas, Nevada. Estrella is located in the northwest area of the Las Vegas Valley. Located north of the 215 and east of the I-95, the major crossroads are Sunstone Parkway and Sun Park Drive. Estrella is a gated community that will feature 106 home sites. There's a subdivision HOA of $45 per month and the Sunstone Master HOA of $55 per month for a total HOA of $100 per month. There is also a SIDS balance of $14,000 which is paid $510 semi-annually. The home site premiums at Estrella range between $10,000 up to $25,000 and the build times vary from 6 to 7 months. The lot sizes range between 5,327 square feet up to 10,492 square feet and the average lot size is 5,700 square feet. Estrella will feature a collection of single-story homes with three different floor plans. These four plans range between 1,788 square feet up to 2,054 square feet, between two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a two-car garage. Before we get started, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. Today we're checking out the Cielo 4 plan. This home features 2,054 square feet of living space, three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a two-car garage. This floor plan will also have an office. Currently, Woodside Homes is offering 2% of the loan amount toward your closing costs when using the preferred lender. The Cielo 4 plan will feature your front door at the side of your home. A ring doorbell will come with your home, but not this water feature. Here's a small covered porch area above your front door. The Cielo 4 plan will feature 10 foot ceilings throughout. In the foyer, you also have the option to install a tray ceiling for $750. This is shown here and does not include the wood beams. The included flooring that comes in this home is an 18 by 18 tile flooring in the entry and the wood areas and carpet everywhere else. The flooring that you see here is an upgrade and personally not something I would install. This home will also come with rounded drywall corners, a medium knockdown drywall texture, two-tone paint in the eggshell finish, and 3.5 inch baseboards. Also included are 8 foot interior doors throughout. You also get door levers and a chrome finish. There are options to upgrade to different colors such as matte black door handles, brushed nickel, or even gold. This is your coat closet with a smart panel inside. And near the entryway is your powder room. The full height tile accent wall is not included nor is a decorated wall-mounted light fixture. In the powder room, you have the option to install a vanity in lieu of the pedestal sink. This option costs $1,020. From the entryway, you can either go to your right, straight ahead, or to the left. Let's start with the main living area. Here we have your great room, dining room, and your kitchen. In the great room, there's an option to install 12 foot ceilings, which is shown in this model home. This option costs $2,340. In the great room, you also have a pre wire for a ceiling fan or light. These two built in speakers are not included but available as an option. The great room measures 16.5 by 15. This wall is a Honeywell thermostat. A doorbell chime above. This is the kitchen. The three pendant lights above the kitchen island are not included. The included kitchen countertops are quartz or granite countertops with a 1.5 inch square edge and a 4 inch backsplash. You can also upgrade to waterfall legs or the optional super island. This option costs $2,730. The included kitchen cabinets are 42 inch upper cabinets with a 3 inch crown. Here's a can of muck buster. I think that's for the outdoor fountain. The upper stack cabinets are also not included but available as an option. Your included kitchen appliances are GE appliances. This includes a cooktop, an under cabinet hood, 
a built-in microwave, a built-in oven, and a dishwasher. In the kitchen, you have the option to install dovetail drawers and soft close hinges. Usually when you see staple drawers, they are not soft close. You will also have the option to install on the cabinet LED lights and a full height backsplash. The full height backsplash that you see here is a quartz backsplash. It goes all the way up to the canopy hood, but not to the ceiling. The canopy hood that you see here is also an upgrade. It's a GE 5 gas burner cooktop. Here's the stainless steel microwave with a trim. Here's the included dishwasher. The included kitchen fixtures are a delta pull down kitchen faucet, a stainless steel double basin on the mount sink, and a water filtration system. The faucet has been upgraded to a matte black, and the sink has been upgraded to a single basin blanco black sink. This GE monogram fridge that you see here is not included. The door handles are quite beveled and very sleek. The controls are on the inside of this door. This is the walk-in pantry. The next space here is a dining room. The dining room measures 16.5 by 9.5. It won't come with this decorative chandelier, but you will get two recessed lights. Off of the dining room, your standard configuration is a small sliding glass door and a window. What you see here is the optional 12 foot sliding glass door for $4,950. In this hallway, the base cabinets are included but the upper cabinets are optional and will cost you $1,290. You can also see a jump duct here that connects to the primary bedroom suite. This primary bedroom measures 15 by 14. We have an AC filter here and a Honeywell thermostat. Two windows above each nightstand and a window that overlooks your backyard. Here's a pre-wire for ceiling fan or light, and the two built-in speakers are optional. This is a unique feature that they put in the primary bedroom. They have the wall here for the TV, instead of pushing it all the way back to that wall. So essentially they created a flex space. This flex space measures 7 by 7.5. There are a few options for this flex space. First option is to convert this to a fitness room. There's a jump duck from the hallway. With the fitness room, you get a door that closes off the space. This costs $830. You can also convert this to a walk-in closet for $970. Or the other options are just to add base cabinets for $4,240. The upper cabinets for $2,570. Or you could put a desk space here for $3,210. Or a beverage center for $6,530. This fence door that you see here is optional and will cost $2,900. It'll give you access off the primary to your backyard. Here we have the primary bathroom. There is no door to the primary bathroom, but if you like one, this will cost you $1,150. Here's your water closet. These decorative wall-mounted light fixtures are not included nor is a tiled accent wall. 
The included features in the primary bathroom are delta faucets and a chrome finish, quartz countertops, adult height vanity, rectangular undermount sinks, and frameless mirror medicine cabinets. They need to clean up the grout over here. The standard configuration for the primary bathroom is a walk-in shower, which is usually an upgrade with many builders. There are four options to convert the primary walk-in shower to. The layout that you see in this model home is number four, which is the primary shower with a tile surround and a freestanding tub. This costs $7,800. You can also have the primary shower with a wall in lieu of a glass enclosure. That option will cost $2,330. You can also have the primary curbless shower with a tile surround for $3,080. That is essentially a zero threshold shower. And lastly, you can have the primary shower with a tile surround and a five foot drop-in tub for $4,070. The shower has a frameless glass enclosure with a 3 8 inch tempered glass. This is the walk-in closet. Behind this wall in the walk-in closet is your bedroom 3. There are many options to convert bedroom 3 to, which can give you a primary retreat, here's access to your attic, or it can even change this to a massive dressing room. This 12 foot sliding glass door gives you that indoor outdoor feel. A covered patio comes with your home and measures 16 and a half by 17 and a half. It'll come with papers below and there's an option to do the extended covered patio. The extended covered patio gives you additional four foot in depth and costs $8,320. Do not get mistaken for this part here. That is not the extended patio. Here's your backyard. Your backyard will come unfinished and does not come with this barbecue island and it will not come landscaped. It is essentially just dirt back here. All of the homes in this collection will come with just one AC unit. In this hallway, we have a couple AC filters and there's a transfer grill above the laundry room. Here in the laundry room, the base cabinet is included and you'll have the option to install a laundry sink above it. There'll be a top mount sink right here. The washer and dryer are not included. You will have the option to install upper cabinets as shown here. This costs $2,710. Across from the laundry room is your two-car garage. The two-car garage measures 25 by 22. The included features in the garage is a soft water loop, a tankless water heater, a fully finished garage with two-tone paint, and a 22-foot deep garage, with the option to extend it to a 24-inch deep garage. This is bedroom 3. Bedroom 3 measures 10.5 by 12. It has this jump duct that connects to the hallway. Bedroom 3 has its own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 3. There are three structural options with bedroom 3. For me, none of these really make sense. The first option is to convert bedroom 3 to a garage door space. This costs $800 and you lose bedroom 3 as well as bathroom 3, giving you a two bedroom home. The second option is to convert bedroom 3 and bathroom 2 to the primary retreat, which costs $800. With this option, you also have only two bedrooms. And the last option is to convert bedroom 3 to a dressing room, which gives you a larger walk-in closet and costs $3,480. This is bathroom 3. The included feature in bathroom 3 is a delta faucet in a chrome finish, a quartz countertop, adult height vanity, 
a rectangular on demand sink, and a frameless mirror medicine cabinet. These are the same included features as the other bathrooms. For bathroom 3, you'll get a tub with a fiberglass surround. There are four different options for this tub. You have the optional tub with a tile surround for $1,240, or a tub with a quartz surround for $3,360. You can also opt for a shower with a towel surround for $2,260 or a shower with a quartz surround for $4,880. This space is your office. The office measures 10 by 10 and will be open. You have four options for the office. The first option is to add double doors to close off this area with a wall. This costs $2,350. You can also add a glass wall and door as shown here. This costs $5,360. Currently the door is missing, but it should be right here. A third option is to convert this to a home plus suite for $1,500. This will combine the office and bedroom two to make a large bedroom called the home plus suite. The home plus suite will measure 11 and a half by 22. If you like the home plus suite with the kitchenette, this costs $9,430. The kitchenette option gives you base cabinets on the cabinet fridge, a sink, as well as a microwave. The built-in shelves in this office are not included and are also not available as an option. Lastly, we have bedroom two. There's a jump duck here. Bedroom 2 does not come with any pre-wires for ceiling fan or light, nor does it come with any recessed lights. Here's a jump duct that connects to the hallway. Bedroom 2 measures 11.5 by 12. Bedroom 2 has a bridging closet and a window that overlooks the front of your home. Bedroom 2 has its own thermostat, as well as its own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 2. Bathroom 2 has the same included features as the other bathrooms. Bathroom 2 will come with a tub with a fiberglass around and has the same options as Bathroom 2. These small circular tiles are becoming quite trendy for new home builders. I can only imagine that they're a nightmare to clean with all those crevices. This concludes my home tour of the CLO Plan 3 4 Plan at Estrella by Woodside Homes in Sunstone of Las Vegas, Nevada. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please also hit that like button and drop a comment below. If you have any questions or like my real estate assistance when buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching the very end, and I'll see you in the next video.